It's a jungle in here. Hey folks, welcome back to Mother Utter Farm. My name is Craig. And as you know, a uh, couple weeks ago, we went to the Homesteading Life Conference. We had a blast, but we had a bear attack. So we told our farm setter, don't worry about the garden, uh, deal with uh, everything else that's happened. We will deal with the garden when we get home. Now we do have soaker hoses on our garden in each one of our rows. So there's, it's getting plenty of water every night and we have this beautiful California sun. So it's getting plenty of sun during the day. So let me show you what our garden looks like after three weeks of no one touching it. It is full of grasses and weeds. So that's today's project. We get to get in here and clear all the weeds out. Now, a couple of these rows still have things growing in it, and I'll leave those. But the rows over here have already uh, been harvested, have been pulled out, so they should be barren as soon as went. So they should be barren when I'm done. So let me move over so you can watch me. So let me set this up and watch and you can watch me work all right let's get to this get the gate out of here this is today's project all right let's get this uh weeded and we will have some fun Now the haze you're seeing in the air is actually from a fire that's about 10 miles off. So this isn't pollutants, this isn't bad, well it is bad air, but it's smoke from that fire and uh, the fires uh, that are coming up the Sacramento Valley as we live in the foothills uh, just east of that valley. We get their smoke and we get the smoke from the fire that's about 10 miles north of us. Let's at least show you how many weeds. This is the second batch. I've already done one uh, trip up to the goats, and now we're gonna do a second trip. All right, go ahead and grab a handful. you were inside. Here we go. Hi Hawthorne. Nice spot. All right. In you go. There you go, bud. Come on. Spot inside. Spot. Alrighty, bud.
What do you think of the initial work, Mom? You guys did a pretty good start on it. So I couldn't tell what was weed and what was not for the ending. I'm getting the small ones out. Yeah, and I leave this because this isn't edible. Oh, okay. It's full of all kinds of vitamins. All right. Put that in the salad. Some people grow it intentionally in their gardens. Hmm. It grows native around here. Well, or native eyes. That's rather. this. Yeah. Any idea what it's called? First lane. Towards. Oh, this one's a weed. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. Mm. Liam loves that one. You want to try? Sure. It's a little bit better when it's young. Mm-hmm. It has a more citrusy flavor. Mm. Right it's a lot more mild. You can see that our kale, when it went to seed, and we were trying to save the seeds, mm -hmm. the kale... <laughs> Grew some little seedlings over here, so we'll transplant those seedlings. Yeah, right into the walkway, actually. Yeah, well, it's nice and moist down in there. Hmm. There's some behind you down there that got a little trampled, but we can, mm -hmm. we can save those too. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, straighten it out, straighten it out. Yeah, Liam, can you? Crouch down, Liam, and hold it straight. Nope. Okay. There you go. Keep it straight. It's really soft ground, so it's going to go in really easy. blessed to have vineyards all around us. We met a man uh, a while back who is uh, changing out his vineyards and giving, uh, putting in new wire, and he blessed us with six gigantic rolls of this old vineyard wire. And you're going to see it throughout our homestead as we use it for many different projects. Right now we're using it to hold up our tomatoes, I've also put it up around the donkey pen to uh, deter predators as a hot wire. And you'll see it appearing here and there and everywhere else because we have a ton of it and it was free. <laughs> Are you done fixing your hair? Hey, this little, I look ridiculous <laughs> in this hat and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, we have a ways to go before we finish cleaning up the garden, but we've done a considerable amount just over this weekend. Yeah, I think we'll get it done by the end of next weekend. We have a lot of weeding still to do, and we have a lot of planting left to do, but this is the last month, I think, before we really uh, need to get all of our winter crops in. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we actually could plant a little bit more next month, too, yeah. but uh, California's We've got a pretty broad planting season, and we're in zone 8. Yes. Eight. So we can plant some this month mm -hmm. and next month, but we really would need to get in the first week or two of this month um, if we really want to get a good winter crop in Yep. Um, to finalize our planting. Definitely. So that's what we're doing, and yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and click that bell to keep watching as we grow our homestead. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Go.
It's a jungle in here. <laughs> Good. It's a jungle in here. Good. It's a jungle in here. Good. Is my hat cockeyed? Yeah, it is. I'm back one more. Okay. It's a jungle in here. One more. <sighs> you just like hearing me coughing up bugs. It's a jungle in here. Okay. See you next time. Anytime. <laughs> okay, without bugs, leaves, and seeds this time. <coughs> you know that pollen thing with the asthma and stuff? Yeah.